Today, we are sending a clear and a strong message to Facebook and every other company that any efforts to stifle competition will be met with the full force of our offices. Today, folks, this congressional hearing is trying to set a precedent for these large cap monopolies when we're talking about things even like Amazon. And you might remember a little while back when they started attacking these companies in these congressional hearings, and they were almost laughable at how much these guys had no idea how these companies operated. They were just basically a bunch of old farts. Pardon my French. But currently, I hold about 40 shares in Facebook, my largest position being up 41%. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of condense this congressional hearing because honestly, my opinion opinion really hasn't changed on the company. I still believe Facebook is one of the better value tech giants against things like Apple or Microsoft and are likely to give you a better rate of return over the coming five to 10 years. And I'm going to explain to you why as well, but let's listen to this really quick. And then I'm going to offer you some insights on what I truly think about what this lady has to say about Facebook. So in the clarity of my transparency, do the channel a favor, smash that like button and let's jump. <laughs> right this. filing a lawsuit against the social networking giant, Facebook. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush small arrivals and snuff out competition, all at the expense of everyday users. By using its vast troves of data and money, Facebook has squashed or hindered what the company perceived as potential threats. In an effort to maintain its market dominance in social networking, Facebook has employed a buy or bury strategy to impede competing services. The two most glaring examples of this unlawful scheme were Instagram and WhatsApp. Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion in 2012 when the company did not even have a cent in revenue. And in 2014, Facebook paid the extravagant amount of $19 billion for WhatsApp, which was far more than industry experts and even Facebook itself valued the company. This combination has allowed Facebook to maintain its monop monopoly over the social networking market and make billions from advertising. We are taking action today and standing up for the millions of consumers and many small businesses that have been harmed by Facebook's illegal behavior. And so we are asking the court to halt Facebook's anti-competitive conduct and block the company from continuing this behavior in the future, as well as provide any additional relief it determines is appropriate. By restoring competition, our lawsuit will help consumers have alternatives to Facebook, and that they can vote with their feet when Facebook puts profits ahead of consumers' welfare. Welcome back, but passive income investors alike. So I just got off the phone with Mark Zuckerberg and I'm like, everyone's villainizing you. I mean, all these funny memes that keep coming up, they don't make you look that scary. So why does everyone act like you're the devil? I mean, somehow Tim Cook makes himself look like the angel and Zuckerberg's like the exact opposite in this game here, guys. But if you listen to any headlines right now that are coming out of this congressional hearing, I think there's a lot of gray areas that are just completely BS. I honestly do not think they're gonna separate Facebook up. It's just not what's gonna happen. The most likely outcome is they're going to put caps on this company considering they were the ones that approved Facebook to buy WhatsApp, to buy Instagram literally years and years ago. I just don't think that's going to change here, guys, but they will do what they did with Wells Fargo, the banks, you know, they kind of did the same thing with AT&T where they basically put caps on how much bigger they're going to be able to get, which makes me feel better as an investor because everybody knows Facebook hasn't even monetized half their bloody platform yet. And if they can just tap into the user base they already have, I mean, there's going to be infinite cash flow, baby. And hopefully with all that cash, nowhere to go with it, they're going to end up putting it into dividends. And I'm also very curious too, you know, if you kind of cut them off from doing acquisitions, does that really stop them from using their own capital to basically compete with any competitors on building their own software? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of weird stuff to come out on the other end of this, but this lady is very harsh and very crude, but I get the point that she's trying to make. On the analytical data side of things, guys, I mean, if you use Facebook, are you really that scared about your data getting out there? I mean, all they really do is use that data to sell you stuff you probably want. Any 
ways, and I know a lot of us get creeped out when you start talking about products or specific things, and then you start seeing ads for it, but I mean, it's really, that's all they're using the data for, and that's all Google really does. Apple's trying to get into that game right now, and I feel like Tim Cook's done a phenomenal job at kind of just, you know, politely walking away from these conversations here, guys. Now, there are some questions and answer periods, and I want you to listen to this one particular question that I think holds some stuff that is uh, completely untrue and really biased and just wrong. So take a quick listen. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking my question. Hopefully you can hear me. Yes. Um, you guys had mentioned that the reason you're bringing this case is because you believe Facebook is stifling competition, hurting business, reducing innovation and cutting privacy protection. Do you believe it is possible to restore those things without seeing a breakup of Facebook or forcing it to sell off lines of its business? So we are basically asking the court to halt Facebook's anti-competitive conduct and block the company from continuing this behavior in the future. We are also asking the court to provide any additional relief it uh, determines is appropriate, um, including divestiture of illegally acquired businesses uh, and or Facebook's assets or businesses, uh, the businesses that which lines which is necessary to restore competition. It's really critically import important that, again, we block this uh, predatory acquisition of companies and that we restore confidence to the market. Um, and for advertisers, they are subjected and have been subjected to higher prices and to less transparency. And last but not least, it neutralizes um, small businesses. So it's important that consumers understand a significant number of consumers and users are totally unaware that Facebook owns WhatsApp as well as Instagram. Um, and again, because they represented uh, competition to these companies and it's important uh, that we release um, uh, competition um, and that we do not stifle um, innovation and creativity um, in the marketplace. So this is where I kind of get teased off a little bit because she's claiming that this is hurting small business to some extent, which I think is almost laughable because in this pandemic, small businesses have been the one that are the most impacted. And we've seen it considering things like Costco and big box stores have been the only stores really allowed to stay open on these shutdowns. And everybody, small town America has been running off Facebook here, guys. Most social media influencers have been using Facebook more aggressively than ever because it's being more advantageous of a platform even than YouTube right now. Most people don't even know that you can get AdSense approval on Facebook if you start building a large enough following. And heck, if you're running your Little Miss Daisy store down the road, you want to get to your clients and your customers doing deliveries. Well, you're going to need an online platform and a place to promote it. And everybody is going to Facebook. Heck, I've been using Facebook Marketplace to sell stuff around the house, to put some extra money in my pocket. Literally, Facebook is small town America here, guys. So I think her vill villainizing it in this way is going to backlash on her um, immensely. I think that was a very wrong approach in my personal opinion. And like I said, I think these gray areas are going to come out toward the end of this congressional hearing where what we're going to end up seeing is a cap on the company. I would honestly be blown away if they end up severing up the company because if they do, that sets the precedent for them to move on to the next conglomerate, which by the way, Amazon right now, guys, is way bigger. It's growing way faster and it's dominating the competition like there's no tomorrow they're getting into prescription drugs now guys and like i mean look at what amazon like the environment that they've created they've created an environment that causes so much competition people will go out and buy up all the hand sanitizer and then mark it up 300 percent. we saw the same thing with webcams and anything else that needs to be used on amazon that doesn't happen on facebook facebook is the coca-cola of ads right now they're the cheapest ad platform to go to and they could literally raise their ad rates by like one or two cents and honestly guys it would raise their balance sheet by like probably tens of not hundreds of millions of dollars. And again, leading into the end of this, guys, if they put a cap on it, what are they gonna do with all that money? And I'm crossing my fingers that eventually down the road, we start seeing dividends. Coming out of this world-renowned and arguably the best business balance sheet on the S&P top 10. So I pass the question off to you. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Facebook's gonna separate? Do you think this is kind of a joke? And honestly, what do you think about Zuckerberg? But in light of all of this, stay cool, stay awesome, and I look forward to catching you guys tomorrow.